Could this be a part from the <laughs> SpaceX rocket? YouTube, Robert here with Coastal GX on my way to Boca Chica Beach in Brownsville. Uh, I'm going to be joining Costa Cleanups and a bunch of wonderful people who are doing a beach cleanup out there uh, after spring break. So I haven't been out here in a long time, so I can't wait to get out there and help out. I just want to go explore and uh, have a good time. So anyway, I hope this episode turns out to be a good one. As always, it's unscripted, so... You know, hey, just follow along <laughs> and uh, thanks for uh, watching. Finally got a chance to come and see SpaceX for myself. And it is so incredible what Elon Musk and his team is doing out here. Just amazing. Being from the Rio Grande Valley, I'm, I'm a Rio Grande Valley native, born and raised here. Um, and this is really something to be proud of. I am so glad that everyone that had a hand in this, you know, was able to bring this amazing project down to Brownsville, down to the Rio Grande Valley. Yeah, and of course it attracts a lot of people. As you can see, have someone there somebody there with a camera my focus is not SpaceX my focus is going out there and picking up some trash that looks so cool and it's really neat that people can pull over to the side and you know take some photographs grab a little video that is pretty neat um, you can't fly your drone. This is unauthorized airspace around here. They are really working hard out here at SpaceX. A lot of people employed. Many jobs for many folks. It's a wonderful thing. And here we are entering Boca Chica. <clears throat> Haven't been here in a long time. Very long time. So, let's see if I can find my friends out here. close to the Boca Chica jetties here. All right. Now, if I can only find the group, that would be wonderful. Hello. Hey, good morning, Tanya. How are you? Uh, good. Good. Hey, there's dolphins over there. If you look right over there, it might come up in a minute. Hey, I'm on a trailer uh, hay bales. <laughs> oh. Look at that dolphin. Oh, there it is by that green, um, the dolphins by the green pool. Are, are, you, are you here? Uh, yeah, but I can't find you. Are you here in Boca Chica? Yeah. You, so you take a left uh -huh. um, at the jetties. Yeah? Yep. And then follow that around. You'll see a bunch of people. There's 150 people here. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, oh, right there's the golfers. <laughs>
looks like uh yeah I see people picking up trash this might this might be uh this might be it over here oh no somebody must be stuck over here but there's plenty of four by fours and uh yeah somebody's stuck out there but there's plenty of four-wheel drives plenty of people to help out there he goes just a quick yank and he's out <laughs> We're out here cleaning the beach. Um, I'm Tanya with Costa Cleanups, and um, we planned an amazing beach cleanup today. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So this is the first time we've ever done something like this. We came by boat out here to Barracuda Cove, which is part of Boca Chica Beach, and um, we're doing hay rides down the beach to the dirty spot. So. Um, we actually capped off registration at 150 people, so I think that's how many people came. So um, we definitely focus on the areas that are unmaintained by the government. So this is one of them. Um, when we actually were here helping save the turtles, and we saw all the trash here. So you know, it's, saving the turtles is a two-part process, not just you know, keeping them warm during cold fronts, you know, but also removing the plastic from their diet. So, um, and plus we had the opportunity, we have captains um, volunteering to give free rides. So we, everybody wants the free boat ride. So uh, we easily got 150 people and I think we're gonna get probably about four miles of beach cleaned up today. Thank you, Coastal GX, for coming out. <laughs> well, you know, the, the beach and uh, the water front down around here is a big part of uh, my lifestyle and the lifestyle for the, the people that come down here to the island. Um, and uh, so, you know, we just, we try to keep it clean and looking good for, for both the tourists um, as well as our, our customers and ourselves. Uh, I see so, too much trash out here. I can't believe the way people respect our outdoors by throwing trash. It's cr it's crazy it doesn't need to happen it's so easy to get rid of our trash grab your trash put a trash bag take it home with you people don't do it I bring tourists to this beach daily to do shell hunting tours and every time we come here my customers complain about trash on the beach and so every day as we're here they're picking up shells I'm picking up trash but I can't get it all so we got all these different organizations together and we're here cleaning it up and making a really big difference, saving a lot of um, sea life and marine life by doing so. We're donating our time and resources just to help out with the resource that we use to make our business. Um, this beach is a public beach. We want to keep it that way. If it keeps getting trashed up, the state's going to do something about stopping us from having access to it. Um, a lot of this trash doesn't come from the people having access to it, which is kind of the downfall. The people who have access, normally they clean up the trash. The trash is coming from, you know, washing in on the waves, offshore vessels, areas like that. Um, we're just out here trying to do something good for the area. You know, this is our home. Yeah, definitely. And uh, just for them to be aware, actually see what it's all about. Um, often you overlook the stuff that's around you. So to, to really be grabbing stuff and, and noticing everything is that is there, I think it's really important just to, to get that instinct in them, like, okay, this is not supposed to be here, and, and deal with it. Oh, it's incredible to see the young people in the families, the winter Texans, everybody that comes together for these events. Is, it's really uh, encouraging, of course, and uh, man, what a difference it makes, you know? You, you couldn't imagine that you could clean as much as you can until you get 100 people or 125, 150. And then all of a sudden you have a whole beach that's clean. So it's exciting. 
for sure. Uh, it's so much better than the first time. The first time it was just full of trash. Um, and it took us, oh gosh, two, two days to clean it. Uh, of course, today we had more volunteers, but I believe the first time we cleaned it, we hauled about eight truckloads out of here. And then we also loaded five or six boats. I know Michael's boat we loaded with trash. So it was pretty big, it was a pretty big event. Well, it affects the whole commu community, and it also brings the community together. And that's really important to us. And we like to have, of course, fun, a uh, little bit of entertainment, good food, and um, education. We want to educate the young people. And it's the young people are here, so it's really exciting for us. Happy birthday, Zoe! All right. <laughs> what do you think you have there? Well. I'm no expert, but to me it's very light aluminum grade material. I would hope or assume that it's a piece of potentially the rocket ship uh, that would maybe come from SpaceX. Where did you find this? Uh, this was in a little tidal pool right around the corner on the beach here, probably 50 yards or so from the actual ocean. Um, it was just sitting in maybe a foot of water, kind of stuck there in the mud, and I was cleaning up trash and stumbled upon this piece. Pretty neat. I mean... I guess, you know, people come out here to do a uh, beach combing, but sometimes you never know what you're going to find. No, absolutely. I was just as shocked as I am still uh, when I stumbled upon it at first. So I'm eager to get back out and maybe find a couple more pieces. What an awesome cleanup. Uh, these guys did great. They had what a great turnout and they were able to pick up a bunch of trash. That's all awesome. But now let's talk about that debris, that trash, that rocket trash, right? Uh, it's, I found out some things. There's a lot of folks that are locals that come here all the time. They know Boca Chica left and right and they find a bunch of debris, that's what they claim, from SpaceX. And um, I really don't know what to think about it. I mean, I, I'm not an environmentalist. I don't know any of that stuff, but you know, some of these folks, or one person in particular who does know what he's talking about, and I can't name him, I can't talk about what agency he belongs to, but I can say that, that the man, you know, he does know, you know, he knows what he's doing, and he's directly involved with this and, and yeah he confirmed it yeah, that this is a real thing there's a lot of debris out here um, however you know SpaceX does have a crew they does have someone they do have someone that comes out here and uh, you know a crew that that picks up the trash and they, they, they do their part in trying to do that I, are they gonna get everything I don't think so you know um, you know, that little piece was about yay big, you know, maybe, you know, 10 inches or so, you know, um, but is that going to have an impact? I mean, I see a lot of plastic out here. There's a bunch of other stuff that's a lot worse, but from what I'm being told, it's, it goes beyond just the trash, the debris, that type of stuff. You know, it, it's also about the people who are coming out here, the spectators okay that want to come in and, and take a look at this wonderful amazing you know project you know uh, I mean it's not every day that you get to see a rocket right you know I mean this is so damn cool um, what SpaceX is doing is is, is incredible and uh, like I said earlier in the video you know I mean it's an honor you know being here in the Rio Grande Valley you know to uh, be a part of this or that we live in this area where they where they're doing this you know, but at the same time, it's, you know, what impact is it having on, you know, the environment, um, on the birding population, on the nesting grounds for the birds. There's a bunch of little, you know, uh, things that we're probably missing the point on. And, uh, you know, those are some things that, that are gonna have to be, they're gonna have to take a look at that, you know, a little closer. Um, as we go on but anyway I thought it was interesting uh, tell me what you think I mean if you're from the, a local have you seen it yourself have you seen some of this debris I want to hear about it because a lot of these people that were here they're like nope we've seen it 
we've seen big chunks, big chunks of debris. You know, so I don't know. It's it's interesting to me. Very interesting. Anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to go and camp out at the East Cut right now. That's going to be a separate video, but uh, I thought this was interesting enough. Anyway, thanks so much. Consider subscribing, like the video, comment below, share it, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll talk to you later.